Hello everyone, I'm so happy to see you again today. So today I'm gonna show you something quite interesting and I'm gonna do a little experiment. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, to give you a little bit of backstory, this particular horse uh, was a bit of an accident. <laughs> she looks quite different from other swim horses. Um, I fell in love with her though, and I didn't want her to be quote unquote despawned, so I have taken her in. I'll give you more of the scoop on how she came to be in just a second. I gotta pick a partner for her because I do want to try and breed her and see what happens. <laughs> Before we get started today though, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I would absolutely love to have you. Okay, I'll show you what I'm talking about now. So this is Error. Very humbly named. <laughs> As you can see, she uh, is not quite finished. She's part of a swim horse. It's really interesting how this happened. So a, a little while ago, there was a bug within the swim mod where horses would not give birth without the stallion being nearby. So if a mare was pregnant and she reached the top of her pregnancy, there would just be no foal. Nothing would happen. But Frack, the person on our server who does all of the technical stuff that I don't know much about, discovered that within the mare's code or, or the FTB data, something like that, there was actually information on the foal within her data. So what he decided to do was pull that data from the, the mare and created error. <laughs> And this is kind of the result. So we've got a half finished swim horse. Now what's even more interesting about this horse, whoops. She functions just like any other swim horse functions. She eats, she drinks, she can be ridden. Now the tack does not render on her except for the blanket kind of goes over her right shoulder and part of her butt. So yeah, she can be ridden if I'm not tied to the pole, that is. Everything functions as it should. Really strange, right? So here lately, I've just been riding her around to do the different advent quests and just kind of all over the server. People are like, oh my gosh, JD, your horse. <laughs> yeah, she's she's uh, she's got some problems, but she still functions just fine. Since the bug with this horse, there was a patch released for uh, the swim mod. So the stallion no longer has to be nearby for the foal to be born. So let's hope that is the case and there won't be any issues. Oh, uh, yes, I, gosh. So I have another dog, um, mainly because, oh my gosh, sit down. Mainly because I spawned a dog in and I didn't know how to not have the dog. <laughs> so. I made her a boxer and named her Kiki because I used to have a boxer dog named Kiki that sadly passed away of old age a couple of years ago. So I'll just have her hang out here in Minecraft. Okay, um, Air, what should I do with you? Let's go into the barn and find you someone to have a foal with. So wait right here for a second. Here's our stallions. So. You know, someone was mentioning Gus, how much they miss Gus. Might pair her with him. Uh, we've got Spartan and Thor. Who do we have over here? Cheddar is out there. Bear. It's Storm. I think I'm going to use Gus. Specifically because that person said that they miss Gus. And honestly, I do too. I need to spend more time with my OG horses. Hi, Gus Gus. How are you? Oh gosh, why are you so hungry? You have food right there. All right, let me grab you a halter. Grab you some hay to eat. We'll fix you right up in a little bit. You know what I haven't used yet is the breeding facility at the breeding stables. We should actually just go there and use it. Wick and I built that place and it's pretty nice. I want to build one on my ranch actually now that I think about it. But anyway, that's beside the point. Okay, we're gonna take these two horses and go to Crystal River. Really don't need to go through all this mess, I guess, but why not? We do have a full server again today, so 
It is a tad bit laggy when we're full like this. Stick with me, Gus. You're going to be a dad again. But I'm really hoping that the foal that comes out of this horse is going to be normal. <laughs> if it's not, then um, I'll love it anyway. Doesn't matter. As long as it doesn't completely break the server. That's another concern. There is a Halloween light right here. That's old. Okay, so over here is our barn, breeding barn. Are you still with me? Yes. Okay, we're going to come in here. Come on. Oh, <laughs> I guess just flew in. What are you doing up there? Come here. No, she doesn't want to. She's like, no, get in here. Okay, anyway, isn't this a really awesome room? I think it looks great. So here we go. We're going to try and breed them. Grab some breeding tokens. And one for you and one for you. Okay, so far nothing is broken. So it shows that she is pregnant. 2% pregnant. Okay, cool. Now is the waiting game. So while I wait for her to progress in this pregnancy, I need to find something else to do. Um, we can take them back home. And maybe I can work with some of my yearling horses. I've been really meaning to do that anyway. But I also need to keep her rendered in because if she's not rendered in, her pregnancy does not progress. So wherever I go, she's got to come with me. So for now, I'm going to tie her right here and I'm going to put Gus back. Let's go, Gus Gus. He's so pretty. I love this horse. All right, which horse should we mess with? So I think today we're going to do some work with Bear. He's a gentle horse, but he has absolutely no training. So I wouldn't be surprised if he acts out a little bit. We get you a halter. Um, what color would look good on this horse? I think I just have a thing for this green color. I think it's really pretty. Oh, that's kind of cool. The brown mixes into his coat, but I like it. It works. Well, let's get him tacked up. And then I guess what I'll do is take Error and Bear together to the competition grounds. And we'll just do some running around the track and kind of get the bond up and as well as his speed. So let's look for some tack. I know I want to use this pretty Trey's tack. I think I want to tack him up in Western. Bridle, blanket, saddle. Ooh, that looks really nice. Breast collar, girth. I like that tack on that horse. Okay, wait. We also need the leg wraps. We're going to go with the Western. Oh, he looks so fancy. You're so pretty, bear. Okay, he is ready to go. So let's get him and Air and go to the competition grounds. She's standing here so patiently. Okay, let us go. Oh, it's nighttime here. Oh, already we've got some sass. Bear, you're the gentle one. We're just going to slowly make our way over to the racetrack. <laughs> Went ahead and made it daytime so it's easier to see. Now that the horses are on a 20, every 24 hour eating schedule, it's not so bad to halt the game time or the, the time in game. You know, honestly, I've never really just ridden through here. This is really nice. It's so peaceful and, and scenic. We're making progress. I'm not going to use the giant racetrack because honestly, I think if I went all the way around, it would probably render her out anyway because it's so big. I showed that to you guys in my last video. The big difference in racetrack sizes. So here is the big one. That's mounted archery right there. I didn't even show that off yesterday. Oh. No, the lead broke. Come back. Okay, we made it to the smaller racetrack. Oh my goodness, bear. Oh, now he's just full blown gallop. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully she's going to stay rendered. Oh my gosh, he is just being a butt. I just break these. I'll replace it. Don't worry. Okay, these chunks should remain loaded. So her pregnancy will progress. 
you just wait right there. And now Bear and I are going to do some running around. Let's see where he is right now. So he's at Reluctant with speed of 713. So I'll do quite a bit of running and see where we can get him. Okay, we've been running around for a little bit now. Let's check. We're at 2K out of reluctance and 2,000 of speed. Oh, it takes quite a while to train these guys up. Let's check on the pregnancy. She's at 4% now. Oh boy, I've got a lot of waiting to do. <laughs> I, think, I think what I want to do is take her to see Orin. So let's grab her and Bear. I'm going to put Bear away and see if I can't get a hold of Orin. Fix that fence up. Head back to Stag Tree. Bear, you wait right here. Bear, let's go put him back. And then we'll head over to Twin Hills. Go we'll get yourself some water and a snack. Here, good boy. I do want to get some more training on them and then go ahead and give them new homes so they can be enjoyed by other people. So I'm deciding to go see Oren because hopefully he has a way that we can speed up this process because it's going to take a long time. <laughs> and quite frankly, I am impatient and I want to see what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and head over to Twin Hills and see if we can get a hold of him. And what the heck? A sheep just gave birth behind me. What in the world? <laughs> and she had twins. That's so cute. Well, congratulations, Mama. <laughs> I will deal with that when I get back. Okay, so to get there, we need to go to Crystal River and ride down. Uh, or ride up, actually. I'm really hoping that Orin is home. I haven't seen or heard from him in a while, so I don't really know what he's been up to, but I guess we'll find out. And here we are at Twin Hills. Aw, the vet office is all decorated for Christmas. That's really nice. Okay, you wait right here and I'll be right back. Um, hello, sirs. I am hoping that maybe I can see Oren today. Would that be possible? Uh... I'll just sit and wait for a bit. How about that? Oh, the fireplace is so cozy. Oh. Is it true? Is JD really here? Uh, Oren, hey. JD. Oh, <laughs> hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Where did you come from? What are you wearing? Oh, I'm doing just fine. I was at Dreamberg World. I rode a lot of rides. I also ate... A lot of weird, strange things. There was an apple. It was on a stick. And there was some kind of sauce that was dripped on it. Like a candy apple? Sure. Anyway, what do you need? Okay, well, I have something I want to show you, but I don't want you to freak out, okay? Me? Freak out? <laughs> when has that ever happened? Right, fellas? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay, so it's right out front here. I'm on my way. Snowman! Oh, terrifying. Anyway. <laughs> this is error. Yeah, I would say that that is an error. Well, I mean, okay, yes. Her name is error, and she may look a little wonky, but... I mean, she acts like a perfectly normal horse. Hmm. She does look... wonky. That's true. You know what? You should be a vet. You give really good diagnoses. <laughs> uh, maybe, but I haven't got my postcard yet, so I don't think that's possible. This horse looks really, really... beautiful. Right? That's what I thought. I'll take her. 
No, 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 no. No, she's not for sale. I'm not trying to oh. rehome her. I just, uh, she's pregnant. I bred her. Oh. Oh my. JD, that's really risky. Is it? Yes. Why? What could happen? Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I don't. Wait, so you can't check her out and make sure she's going to be okay? Well, I mean, considering that she's missing a nose, eyes, a leg, butt has a hoof, and a bunch of other strange details, I imagine everything will be just fine. Oh, I wasn't expecting that answer, but... Can you do me a favor, JD? Uh, sure. Can you... get rid of these snowmen? They're scaring me. Why? They're really cute. Whenever it's nighttime, they come alive. Um, they try to hunt me down. I don't think that's true. Well, that's why I had to go on vacation. Or and the snowmen are not coming to life and trying to get you. JD, you're my best friend, but you're wrong. Do you think it would be possible? Is there any way that we could speed up her pregnancy a little bit? Absolutely. Give me one second. Okay, JD, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Here we go. Pop out that baby. Hurry. I want to see it. Hopefully all goes well and we don't destroy the world. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like it can get much worse for her. Lauren, that's kind of mean. She's fine. She is fine. I mean, look, her gluteus maximus muscles are out on display for everyone to see. <gasps> There's a baby. There's the foal. And it looks just like its mother. <laughs> it looks totally normal. Good job, Air. I knew you could do it. Just because she looks different doesn't mean she can't live a perfectly healthy, normal life. Well, as I always like to say, just because it's different doesn't mean it's scary. Uh, no truer words have ever been said, Oren. Good job. I don't like good job. Anyway, JD, I would love to hang out with you more. Forever, in fact. But I need to go eat more of those candy apples. See ya. Wait, hold on, Oren. Where is Dream World or whatever? Where did you say you were? I was in Dream World. Where's that? It's a place that I go. I run into the woods, climb a tree, close my eyes, and then all of a sudden I'm on a roller coaster. It really hurts whenever I hit the ground, but then I get all these apples. Okay, I, I regret a Go have fun. Bye, Oren. Be safe. Here I go. Whoa! What? What in tarnation? Why? Why is this happening? I'm stuck. Okay, those interactions are always interesting, but now we've got ourselves a foal. So cute. I wonder if it's a boy or a girl. I don't have my chat on. So oh, it won't pop up in the vet bag. Let's name it real quick. So Anvil, name tag. We'll name you Errors Bull. Boy or girl, boy or girl. The girl, we've got a filly. Let's go home. And I'm super curious now of course to see how it will grow up it almost looks like it's going to be a coat like bear's coat but we're going to go put them away in the barn i'm glad that the foal there's nothing wrong with it turned out totally fine um is this stall open no where can we put you where can we put you put her down here there's the baby and come here what are you doing? Are you stuck? Okay, little baby. What are you going to be when you grow up? What coat? Maybe you guys should all take some guesses. What is this foal going to look like when it's grown? Leave it down in the comments what you think the coat color will be. If you're not familiar with the coat colors, you can go to the swim wiki and all of the coat names are on there. It's gonna be interesting. And next time I will show you the foal all grown. Thank you each and every one of you for being here. I appreciate you all so much. And until next time, bye. <sighs> GD.
Huh? Oh! Mmm, something stinks. Ah. Oh, it's still night out. Oh, what's that? Oh, gosh, those snowmen. Uh, what do you think, Flaminky? Okay, we're fine, we're fine. We just have nothing but storage boxes and... Where'd he go? Ah! Ah! Okay, it's just a dream. It's just a dream. I was just imagining things. It might have even been a dream. JD's right. Snowmen are nothing to worry about. See? I'll prove it to you, Flaminky. Ah!